I'm pretty sure if you're not Haitian, the first thing you can think of is sac passé, na poulet. Yes, it's in there, but I want better for you. I really want better for you. So let's expand your vocabulary beyond the sac passé, na poulet. All right, all right. Salut le peuple! Welcome back to another video. My name is Ermanta. For those of you who do not know me, and for those of you who are already part of the family, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at 1k, so uh, let's make the channel grow. This video will be in French and English. Je sais que la dernière fois que j'ai fait une vidéo sur les créoles, on m'a reproché de ne pas l'avoir fait en français, je comprends. Donc cette fois-ci, la vidéo va être en français et en anglais. So whenever I speak French, I'll be putting the subtitles for you English speakers. Et quand je parle en anglais, je vais mettre des sous-titres en français pour vous, mon auditoire francophone. So today's video is going to be about Haitian Creole. It's going to be a crash course, very beginner friendly. After watching this video, you will know the alphabet, the days of the week, the months of the year, how to count from 1 to 10, and how to use formal and informal greetings. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep watching. If you want to skip to a specific part of the video, please use the timestamps in the description box. Okay, first things first, the alphabet. Now it sounds pretty similar. You'll recognize some sounds here and there, whether you speak French or English. So let's get right into it. The first letter is A. Ah, uh, uh, B, B, CH, CH. Now in the Haitian Creole alphabet, the letter C doesn't exist on its own, it's always CH, so CH, D, D, E, 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 E. Eh. Eh. Now this sound is very nasal, you're able to make nasal sounds or vowels whenever the air goes through your nose and your mouth. So this one is eh. F. F. G. G. H. H. E. E. G. G, K, K, L, L, M, M, N, 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 G, N, G, O, 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 N. This one is kind of like the French R, except you don't have all the going on. It's a bit more in the back of your throat. It's a bit more glottal, you would say, in French. You'll feel it right here. L, S, S, T, T, V, 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 V. Double V. Double V. Not to be confused with double V in French. We say double V. Y. Y. And not Y. Y. Z. The last one. So this will be pretty easy for you if you're a native French speaker, as the sounds are pretty similar. And if you're an English speaker, you'll be fine if you just practice a few times. Like I said, you'll never see the letter C by itself. It's always C-H, and you'll never see the letter U on its own. It's gonna be in the three sounds, U, UN, and V. Je vais faire une autre parenthèse pour euh, ceux qui parlent français. En créole haïtien, il n'y a pas le son NIA. Par exemple, euh, dans le mot AGNO, AGNO, ça n'existe pas en créole. On va dire AGNO. 
à, je sais, on voit que c'est la même chose, hein, mais Anio. Anio. Plus de Anio. Nia. 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 Je sais que c'est un peu bizarre, mais essayez-le. Anio, comme si c'était écrit A-N-I-O, versus Agnon, l'animal, vous allez sentir la différence. Donc, très, très, très important. Ça, c'est une chose que moi, je faisais personnellement. Quand on chantait des chants à l'église, je disais Agnon, bon Dieu, ah, non. Agnon. So, if you made it this far, good job. You now know the 32 letters in the Haitian alphabet. We're going to teach you how to count from 0 to 10. On va apprendre à compter de 0 à 10. 0. Zéro. You see a W, but it's not exactly zéro. Zéro. Kind of like that R I was talking to you about. Zéro. E. E. D. D. Trois. Trois. Quatre. Quatre. Cinq. Cinq. Six. Six. Sept. Sept. Huit. 9, 9, 10. And there you have it. Donc pour ceux qui parlent français, je sais que c'était très facile, mais il faut faire attention par exemple au chiffre 9. En français, on va dire 9. En français, c'est 9. Il faut vraiment mettre l'accent sur le accent grave. 9 et non 9. Même chose pour le chiffre 2. On dit D, pas 2. And now for the days of the week, les jours de la semaine. We have. Lundi, lundi, mardi, mardi, mercredi, mercredi, jeudi, jeudi, vendredi, vendredi, samedi et dimanche. So, a little recap. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi, dimanche. And now for the months of the year, le mois de l'année. We have, nous avons, janvier, janvier, février, février, mars, mars, avril, avril, mai, mai, juin, juin, juillet, Juillet, août, août, septembre, septembre, octobre, octobre, novembre, novembre, décembre, décembre. Last but not least, we have the informal and formal greetings. Um, I'm pretty sure if you're not Haitian, the first thing you can think of is sac passé, na poule. Yes, it's in there, but I want better for you. I really want better for you. So let's expand your vocabulary beyond the sac passé, na poule. All right, all right. So first things first, saying hi, allo. So we pick up the phone, someone calls you, allo. Good morning. Donc. Bonjour, and you trim the R, it gives you bonjour, bonjour, bonjour Kathleen, bonjour. <laughs> good afternoon, good evening, bon après-midi, bonsoir, bonsoir, bonsoir Kathleen, bonsoir. <laughs> How are you? Comment ça va? Ou bien comment vas-tu? Comment ou yé? Comment ou yé? Comment ou yé? Or you could also say qui j'en ou yé? Qui j'en ou Qui j'en ou I would answer, I am well, ça va bien, moins bien, ou bien? Moins bien. All right. What's up? Quoi de neuf? I know you guys were waiting for this one. You guessed it. Sac passé. Sac passé. Na boule. Ah. <laughs> if you don't want to say the typical sac passé, you could also say sac a fait. Sac a fait. If I say what's up and you say not much or I'm good, it's literally na boule. Na boule. Uh, just note that it literally translates to we're burning, but when people say that, they're not actually burning, they're just doing very well. And last but not least, we have see you later, ou bien à plus tard. You would say na wè pita. Na wè pita. Okay, the thing with na wè pita. Since you know all the days and the months, whatever, you can say now we do men, now we're nerdzi, now we're madzi, etc, etc, etc. 
So let me just recreate a little dialogue with my sister with everything that you have learned. On va créer un dialogue moi puis Marcel. So, ring 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 ring. Allô. Bonjour. Comment vous êtes? Oh bonsoir. Moi bien. Et vous même? Ah nous là, n'a pas bien. Ça qu'a fait? Ah non blackout. <laughs> okay, now part of this girl. Ça qu'a fait? Ah eh ben nous là, n'a pas bien. Ah eh ben, okay. Now we pita, n'a pas les pita? Okay, n'a pas les pita base. Bon tu veux dire? Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Okay, so now you're basically Haitian. Okay, I'm kidding. So now you officially know the basics of Haitian Creole. Very easy, very simple. But dans le fond, ça va être une série. This is going to be a series. We started very slowly. C'était très facile. Puis dans les prochaines vidéos, on va approfondir. Comme ça, on pourra tous apprendre la langue ensemble. I'm very proud to be Haitian. So I want to use my channel as a space where I can share the culture with you. Not only the food, but the language. Anything that has to do with Haiti, I really want to share it with you guys because I do think that my culture is a very 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 beautiful culture so thank you so much for watching you guys stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to subscribe if you're still here if you learn something please subscribe to my channel so thank you so much and see you next time